everyone and welcome back. My name is Julie. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to be doing a daily plan with me. So I'm, I'm a little bit late with getting this up, so I do apologize for that. And honestly, when I was sitting here, I was like, wait, what am I actually going to plan in? Because that's the situation I put myself in. I have been using my A5 plum paper again because I don't I don't have um, a new page in my seven by nine until the 14th. So I still have a few more days to go before I can jump into that if I decide to. And I have a few planners on the way, so I'm in like the land of indecisiveness per usual. I've also kind of been hopping in and out of my half letter discs, which I have had a few people, you know, ask if I could share a little bit more of that. I feel like the half letter disc was one of those things that came into the community with like, a vengeance right and then it stuck around for a bit and then everyone stopped using it myself included so um if you want to see a setup of this let me know down in the comments i'm actually enjoying the disc system more with these clear plastic disc as opposed to like the black discs or silver or gold or whatever just having to choose that alone was a pain i truly truly enjoy the clear discs and i believe I think these might be tool discs. I also know that I have some from cloth and paper. So um, I just, I enjoy it because it looks a little bit more clean. I, I don't know. I have so many thoughts about this, but I will share that in a separate video if that's what you want to see. So for today, I'm just going to stick with the A5 plum paper. Trust me, you guys, this week I was like, maybe this is what I should just stick to instead of continuously trying to change things like I hopped back into it this week when I just was like all over the place and I was like I don't know a friend of mine sent me a cover because I was also like wanting an EC cover but this was like right before they launched their A5 covers I still feel some type of way about that because they truly haven't launched A5 covers it's like they're very selective they were like yay we have A5 covers but it's like four of them. <laughs> so anyway, I do prefer the easy covers over the plum paper covers. I've shared that before. I think that this looks nice. Somehow any cover goes good with the modern color scheme tabs and plum paper. So I do, um, I do enjoy that. I also have an animal print cover coming from EC for this size too. So I am excited about that. So, okay. It's already Saturday morning when I'm filming this, but we're going to film Saturday <laughs> Anyway, so you can kind of see what I have on my agenda for today. Now, obviously, I also want to be mindful and just, you know, acknowledge the fact that it is Patriot Day. It is 9-11. I recently just posted, not even a few minutes ago over on my Instagram, um, our memory of 9-11, that specific day. After that, obviously, lots of things happen. And if you're a military family, then you understand that. So... I did manage to find, because I thought I only had one Patriot Day sticker from Chrissy and Designs, and I realized that when she launched her previous years of Celebrations collections, I was like, why didn't I look there? Of course, <laughs> there was one there. So I am going to be using a Patriot Day sticker from Chrissy and Designs. And I have been following a few people, and I'm going to try to find her account really quick over on Instagram. So there is someone over on Instagram. Her account is Sincerely Mara and she has been kind of playing with the stickers from her shop and kind of showing how those would work with plum paper and I have just been like blown away. So last night she shared how she put her stickers down and then pulled them up right away and then she went back and this morning posted that she was pulling up stickers from the night before just to kind of show what it would be like now and then you know a few a few hours from that if you put down stickers after the fact or move them around after the fact and I was just blown away so I am probably going to try some stickers from her shop because I think that that's pretty neat I love my planner Kate stickers and I love Chrissy and design stickers I am not giving those up which is why I have considered other planners <laughs> that work better with those stickers. I know someone out there gets it. I just, I have used those stickers for years and I'm not so sure that I, it's easier to switch planners than it is to completely switch the stickers that I love. That's, that's, those are just the facts. All right. So right there is going to be focus and then today, and I'm going to try to get this video up within an hour of uploading it. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll see if that's actually going to happen. Oh my gosh, that's just say content. I immediately was thinking about writing the six o'clock over here. I actually did wake up early this morning. Totally not intended. I just, I just did. It's hard for me to sleep in some days. So I am going to put six and then write the times all the way down. I will say this, that while I have been trying some of the cloth and paper inserts, I have truly, truly enjoyed not having to write the times down. It's such a minute thing. <laughs> it really is. But um, I was like, you know what? I, I would love it if that were an option from plum paper to add our times in here for us. And I don't know if you guys can tell, there's like a pink hue coming off of me because I worked out and I'm still, still in my workout clothes and this shirt is like super hot pink. <laughs> anyway, okay, so keep in mind, like I said, a few of these things I have already done. So we have medication, which I've already taken that. Vitamins, which I take way later in the day because I can't take anything close to my thyroid medication, and then workout, which is what I've already done. I'm so freaking happy. It's just done and out of the way. I took a few days off because we were celebrating Nathan's birthday, and then it just felt like there was just so much going on at work that by the time I got home, I was truly, truly exhausted and was like, I just can't push myself anymore. So I didn't. All right, so AM routine, yes, it's still going to be 6 AM because that is when I woke up. And the best part about this is I get to check that off. <laughs> All right, so for today, so this morning, let's say, I do have a little tidy up sticker. I'm just kind of pulling stickers from like my reusable sticker book, which is where I have moved a lot of things from um, like my Chrissy Ann Design stuff that I want to keep like close by. Since I use primarily Chrissy Ann Designs in my dailies, that's just what I wanted to do. Okay, but somehow I also need to fit in my workout and that's fine. I've kind of started to do something different down at the bottom here and that is writing my water intake and then my workout. So I'm not gonna worry about writing it up at the top, if that makes sense. It feels like I don't have to do that. But I am gonna focus on tidying up and the time is going to be off a little bit because I'm running behind schedule. I just started watching like the memorial and stuff and I just got like glued to the TV and I should have walked away, but it's kind of hard to not watch kind of like, you know, I don't know. I was talking or texting with some friends of mine and we were just talking about that day. And, um, obviously I'm 43. So I was already, uh, we were stationed in Germany and how old was I 20 years ago? So I was 23. Um, and we were all in just such different places of life, but that moment, like, we could all talk about it because we remember it and we all have such different experiences, but I am interested in hearing other people's stories about where they were. Um, it, it's just something that I, I, yeah. All right, so, tidy up. Then, then I have a conference in New York City, only I'm not actually there. It is a virtu virtual conference. I was just telling Jesse earlier this morning, like I am totally on board with conferences being virtual. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's just so much easier. You don't have to pay for a hotel or plane ticket and all that stuff. So that is actually from one to five and I have a session at this conference. Oh my God, look at how straight that line is. I'm so proud of myself. Um, <laughs> But my session is not until five. Okay, I think it actually goes to like six or seven. And one of the things that I love is that I don't have to completely stop my day for this event. We're not required to be there the whole time. I think even as attendees, you're not required to be there the whole time, which is so, so cool because we all have busy lives. We all have things going on, right? Um, I have a session. My session is not until five, but um, that's what's going on today. And so um, it's so funny. My session is a hot takes session, which I love those things. Um, it's like an unpopular opinion type of thing. And I was reading them because the coordinator, Diana, sent me over 
the hot takes that were sent in anonymously. And I just, I was laughing so hard. I was like, this is going to be fun. My session's only 30 minutes, so it's going to be tough squeezing everything in in that time. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so dinner. We actually have not decided that. Uh, we have some burgers, so I might see if we can do that, because that sounds absolutely amazing for today. Uh, now let's move on to the tasks. I've got my handy dandy dot marker that you guys know that I love. I have had a few questions about this. I thought that I've shared this before, but you can buy the individual dot markers. I purchased them from Jet Pens. I don't know if Amazon has hopped on that train yet and sells them individually. I know they sell the packs. I also think they sell them at an overpriced price. So I suggest going to JetPens. No, I'm not a JetPens affiliate in any way, shape, or form. But if you wanna save some money, instead of buying packages of dot markers and colors you'll never use, and you just want the gray or the platinum as it's called, then head on over to JetPens. It's a couple bucks each. I purchased four during my last order because I know myself I'll place one in a drawer, one in my bag, one downstairs. <laughs> They'll be everywhere. So I highly recommend uh, going this route. Okay, let's put, mm, I probably need a few more dots there. And then for the bottom, I'm just gonna do all my dot things at the same time. We're going to do water. And I'm trying to remember, because I know that I saw this on someone's um, Instagram that they did water like this. I think it was in a different spot or whatever. Maybe even have a totally different planner. But I thought that it was so freaking cool. And I was like, why not use the dot markers markers to the best, best of my abilities, right? As a tracker. So my goodness, stay there. Okay, and then workout. I actually just did one thing on the Peloton, and I've really been trying to get into the stacks or doing more than one thing, like not just a ride and something else. But this morning, with like all of just the feelings and the emotions, I was like, you know what, all I have in me right now is one ride. And it got me to thinking about how, you know, you see all these people like posting four or five things that they do in one workout session, and sometimes it can feel like that's what you have to do in order to be successful and that might be true for you personally but if you are embarking on your peloton journey and you're just like holy crap i can't keep up with that just know that you don't have to and you're going to still be just as successful with with what you want to do with it so there's that i don't know why i got in my feelings about that but i did <laughs> All right, so today we are going to have to do some cleaning of floors. Lots of laundry per usual. I am just now getting to put away my laundry from like two days ago and I have more laundry to do. I also recently discovered that it would be really helpful if I just purchased a laundry sorter because I don't know how, but in our house, laundry baskets just disappear. <laughs> Like, uh, yeah, so I want one of those three compartment laundry sorters on wheels because that's just how I have found that I like to sort our laundry, mine and Jesse specifically. And if a laundry sorter up and disappears from my house, then <laughs> I'm calling the Ghostbusters. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, so floors, laundry. I think Jesse said that he was going to bathe Brody later that is a whole ordeal that dog if you say the word bath around him he gets super scared he just doesn't like water i i don't know this is thing all right then i want to sit down and focus on my meal planning i've still been using the cariel meal planner but i think i'm going to go back to the what was it the Erin condren petite <laughs> Sorry for the hand gestures. The Petite Planner book. Um, I really enjoyed that. It was a little bit more compact to carry around. Also, did you guys see their new folio? It's like an animal print. I mean, yes, I ordered it. Yeah. Um, you guys know, like, animal print is my love language. Anyway, uh, moving on to some daily habits that I want to commit to or continue doing, whatever the words are. <laughs> my daily delete which is deleting photos from my phone because oh my god uh i do want to catch up on 
journaling or memory keeping. I don't even know what I want to call it. I was all in my feelings the last couple of weeks about Happy Planner and their shenanigans. And then I was like, it's kind of ridiculous to like totally throw away my memory planner that I've started. Um, I've already paid for this stuff. I already have it. So I'm just, I don't share my memory planner anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But now I have some catching up to do. Just... Yeah, it's not going to happen today, that's for sure. I might put some post-its down. I haven't decorated it in a couple of weeks, so <laughs> I have so much to catch up on. All right, and then hopefully I can unplug from my phone because you guys, this planner community can be exhausting some days. Exhausting. I think I was on for a little bit yesterday, and within an hour, I had a damn migraine. I was like, I need a, I, I need a moment. <laughs> I need a moment. All right, and then my skincare, which by the way, I just reordered my retinol serum from The Ordinary. I order it from Ulta. I accidentally ordered the wrong type, and I don't like it, but I don't want to like waste it. It's anyway, it's an oil form. There's two that they sell, I believe. Um, and I accidentally ordered the squalene version. I'm not even sure what that means. I had to Google it. I was so confused, but anyway, it's, it's working just fine. I don't like the way it makes my face feel. And now I'm like, this is going to last forever. I need to figure out something. <laughs> All right. Content. Uh, film this plan with me. If I have time, I mean, who are we kidding? No, I really don't have time. Have you seen this day? I don't have time to film another video. And I need to edit this video. And I'm also going to get it up. That's not the ordinary for me. I really don't like doing this, but I fell behind. It, it's just, it's life, you know? Um, I do have some emails I have to catch up on. And I do have some Reels prep. If you will, I have a few in mind. I need to kind of figure out if I can actually get them done. And then get through some comments and messages. That is it. That is the day, my friends. I like the way that this turned out. It's pretty like par for the course for how my plan with me's go. But I'm also kind of loving that every now and then I'm able to sprinkle in these daily pages. All right, everyone, that is it for today's plan with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure that if you are subscribed, you do click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.